Okay, so first of all, some disclosure, I guess. This video is is sponsored by Atom. This video is sponsored by, by me, I think. That's right, I've started an OnlyFans. No, that would, that would never work. I, I don't want to fail in business. Hey there, friends, how's it going? You can call me Kevin, or you can call me Businessman. That's right, I am back in the world of business. If you're wondering why I said back, if you don't know my full backstory here, I actually was a content creator back in 2009, believe it or not. What's Call of Duty? I stopped around 2012, 2013, and I went off and I started a business. I opened a store, and believe it or not, it actually went pretty well. But then, failure hit me hard and fast in the form of a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> I'm evil! Yeah, literally. I got hit by a car and I wasn't really able to run my store anymore, which kind of sucked. Like, looking back on it, I'm kind of glad it happened. It's kind of a weird thing to say. I'm glad I got hit by a car, but it worked out really good. I'm really, really happy where I am with my life, and in a way, it wouldn't happen unless I got smacked as a pedestrian by a Ford Fiesta. I like to say that positivity can come out of anything, but at that moment it really didn't feel like um, that Ford was, you know, radiating positive energy. But after that I got back into YouTube and I left the world of business behind selling my store. I got back into content creation about 2017 and honestly I was just very happy to be here again and making stuff doing my thing. I'm just immensely thankful and I still am. But over the past couple of years, especially 2022, I felt that I was just so focused in one area and I, I felt like I needed to diversify a bit just for my own mental sanity. And one of those things was getting involved in some sort of business. And I floated a few ideas, but in the end I was thinking, well, all the good ideas are kind of taken. But then I kind of stumbled my way into the most amazing thing, and it's actually co-founded by one of my friends, Mr. Greggles. But before I go any further and tell you a bit more about why I'm doing this and what it's about, let me call in my buddy, a businessman, call me Kevin, to really show you how it works. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies. And gentlemen, you are about to get the best advice you've ever gotten from a man in an ill-fitting suit. It's 2023 and content creation has come along so far in the past few years, but I'll tell you what hasn't. The tools we use to make it. And let me tell you something, tools are important. What's a carpenter without their tools? They're just some crazy person obsessed with wood. Let me show you a little secret here. It's called Atom, and let me tell you something, this bad boy is the next step for streaming. But enough talk, let me show you what it can do. First off, setup is easy, in just a few clicks you're all connected. And then you are ready to do virtually anything you want with your stream and Atom, but here are some possibilities where it might come in use. Would you like to do a cooking stream, for example, but the setup is too laborious? Easy peasy, be logged into Atom, have your stream deck next to your little laptop down in the kitchen, and you can remotely control your setup from a completely different room. Is that not far enough away from you? Well, you could control it from anywhere else in the world. Or maybe you want your mods in control. Your mods could control your lights, your scenes, and much more using Atom remotely. That means if I fall off my chair midstream again, a mod could simply put it to BRB, and I could even have Atom set up to automatically run an ad when it goes to my BRB screen to save the viewers from Twitch randomly placing the adverts. And all of these options are so customizable. You could even have some rules set up just for certain scenes. And this could be anything from as simple as changing the color of a light or playing a sound to something as advanced as setting up a bullet time effect for your stream. There's also Tiltify integration for any charity streams, and that means you could link a donation to do pretty much anything you want with Atom. And it's great, because the whole idea is set it and forget it, so once you're set up, you're good to go. Do you stream on Twitch or YouTube and want to stream to, say, Instagram or TikTok in vertical format? Use Atom's vertical plugin. You can do both at the same time. So, if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why should I trust this sleazy salesman who's not even wearing pants? Well, first of all, it got very hot in here. And second of all, I know what works and I know what doesn't work. And let me tell you something, this is the best streaming software I have ever used. Even a caveman could use it. I should know, I'm very close to Neanderthal. DNA tested and scientifically proven. You can get a free trial, link in the description. You get 30 days free, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. And plus, use code Kevin for 20% off your first period, whether that be a month or a year. Don't let this opportunity slip away from you. You will thank me later. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.
I've never learned so much from a man with such little grace. But yeah, that's what we're doing over at Atom. And let me tell you something, the team behind it are just the most passionate group of people. I'm just so happy to be a part of something that's that's just bigger than just, just me. You know, I love my channel, I love doing what I do, and we've plenty of people helping out the channel at this point between everyone. It's actually quite a group effort at this stage. But just to be a part of something and build something and that I genuinely believe in. I think I touched on this at the start of the year. I made um, a video saying how I almost quit YouTube and it was genuinely in my headspace. I was like, I I've done it before. Should I just leave? But I found as the year went on, I started to realize it's a lot easier to be stoic about something if your whole life isn't revolving around it. It's very hard to just say, oh, I'm not going to let this affect me if you're putting every moment of your life into it. And there are ups and downs with YouTube or any content creation. I think that's one of the hardest aspects of it, are, are the, the ups and downs mentally can be quite draining. But my whole idea this year especially is just trying to make myself uncomfortable, trying to improve myself as a person, and trying to do things that I normally don't do. I'm really trying to branch out in all areas. I'm excited. I, I'm genuinely excited for the whole year. Atom, my content, some other stuff I've got going on in the background that I'm not going to tell you about yet. I'll tell you when it's time. Even content-wise, I've got some really cool ideas, I think, and just, just some different stuff that, uh, I don't know, I think will be really fulfilling for me and will be enjoyable for you, I hope. It's so good to be a businessman. Now I can talk about being in the business and talk to other businessmen. I can have a LinkedIn! <laughs> yeah, that would be a bit depressing. YouTuber, Ford Fiesta, YouTuber businessman. <laughs> but yeah, link in the description if you want to check it out. I'd appreciate it if you have any interest at all and uh, hope you enjoyed, I guess, this little weird update and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.